Greetings and salutations, viewers. Tis I, Cybertron X, coming to you with a new Transformers review. And I'm doing it on the G1 reissue of Blaster, as you can see here. Um, Blaster is a boombox. Came out in the Season 2 of G1. Now, when he came out in G1, he did not have any cassettes, but he was he had the ability to carry cassettes. As you can see, there's one in there. That's later on the review. He's a boombox. Very simple. He was supposed to be the counterpart to Soundwave. You know, Soundwave was a tape player. Blaster is a boombox. Unlike the other incarnations that we've gotten, him being a ship or a car... This is how he originally was. A boombox. And he's actually pretty cool. He's actually taller than Soundwave. I don't have a G1 Soundwave where I would show you. Transformation is really simple. But let's look at some of the details. Like you have a molded on and off switch here. And the switches go down. But this one opens the front. Really nice molded speakers as well. The transform him. What you want to do is slide this piece open and fold down the legs. Fold that piece there and that there and fold down the feet like so. Then up here at the top, fold out the head, rotate, fold out the arms, fold down the arms. And slide out and rotate his fist like so to get the blaster look. It's pretty cool. I love this big Autobot sticker. His gun, a really big holy weapon, <laughs> like so. Articulation wise, his head can rotate 360, arms 360, basically normal G1 transformation. Now, in the 86 movie, he got four cassettes. Ram Horn, Steel Jaw, Eject, and Rewind. And if I remember right, this one, inside of his chest is eject you know little 60 minute tapes transform uh oh transform eject fold out legs fold down his feet do that and his head pops up and fold down his fist. And there you have Eject. His weapons, unlike Rumble or Frenzy, do not snap onto his back because the holes there are actually on his arms. But you can peg in his blasters. Like so. There's that. Steel Jaw. Take out of his cassette is a lion which is actually pretty cool you can fold down his feet well not really call him a lion you'll see when I put his weapons on him fold out his head and his tail his weapons kind of make him look like a griffin which I really like. It's a pretty cool feet thing. But he doesn't stand all that well. You gotta pose his paws in a certain manner to get into balance. So we'll just lean him against his backdrop. And my personal favorite Ramhorn. I always loved Ramhorn. And he is a rhino. 
They're supposed to be pretty intelligent too. And I just love his weapons. He's a rhino armed for bear. Really cool. And I love how the weapons give him a little bit more bulk. So he's pretty cool. He's my favorite. And he stands pretty well. Now to get Blaster, it would cost pretty much, because he was a Comic-Con exclusive. I think it was uh, San Diego Comic-Cons in 2010 or 2009 that he was issued as a con exclusive. Luckily, he was on Big Bad Toy Store. A friend of mine got him for me, which was pretty cool. Um, do I recommend him? Yes, because he is a great G1 figure. He's one of my personal favorite. Plus, he comes with the three cassette bots. So it's a really cool deal. This has been Cybertron Acts with Blaster. See y'all later.